So what's up guys, this is Technically Ham Suri and welcome back to the next project video and that's going to be for specifically for the chat with PDF using the Gemini API key. So let's just open the project and before that you will be needing an API key. So I'm going to tell you from where you can get the API key. In order to get the API key, you need to go to the Google AI Studio and from there you have to generate your Google API key that is going to be specifically for the Gemini API key and this is from here you can create your new prompt you can select the models that you want I'm specifically using the Gemini 1.5 Pro and from here you can simply create the API key so get API key and you simply create it so this is how you can do it from here you can just simply create and then API key that you want so let's just move towards the project so this is the code, this is the project code and that I'm using, this is the API key uh, that I'll be using to chat with uh, the PDF. Uh, let me just uh, uh, take one of uh, the PDF on which I'm going to perform uh, the testing. So I have taken the PDF file and that is my resume. And uh, let me just copy the name of my resume so that I can simply paste it in the input of the PDF. Yeah. You can see it has arised here and uh, let me just paste. Okay, it's already been pasted. Again, I'm going to paste. So, here you have to paste on the resume name. And uh, you know, when you will be uh, running this code, it will generate the Facebook AI similar research. It will uh, generate the vector embeddings for this particular PDF. So, for that, also I've used the Google embedding model that is going to be for the generation of the embedding of the pdf file and that is the embedding model 001 so this is also being generated through the api key only you know because there is the reason this is how you will be able to chat with the pdf i've divided the chunk size you know as 7500 words and 100 words of overlaps so that the model won't miss the necessary details so we are going to just test it on uh, this is this my resume so uh, let's just begin and uh, let me just uh, run the code here as soon as i run the code it will be it will generate the vector embeddings of this pdf file in the folder name files index which is the facebook ai similarity search so you know now it has given into the question uh, so let me just first ask to list my projects that I have created in the PDF. So list the projects. Now let's see what reply it gives. So you know, it takes time because you know Gemini 1.5 Pro is a free model. So yeah, you can see it has listed my projects that are project management system, real-time stock prediction, object detection using OpenCV, face recognition. So you know it's working fine. Uh, now let's just ask uh, another question, and that's going to be for you know uh, the certifications that I have done or the yeah. So list the certifications. So let's check what reply does it gives. You can see it has given the AI ML for the geo data analysis by ISRO and uh, Python. Okay, machine learning and IT profile. Uh, let's see another question, and it's going to be for give the technical skills. Oh. let's see what does it give so you can see it is replying from uh, the resume and uh, let's check this reply also so you can see it has given uh, in the list that i have mentioned in the resume you can see i have simply provided it that it should not outside it should not answer outside of the context and that is my pdf file it is strictly being given in the prompt that it should answer from the pdf file only here you can see it now uh, this is how it's done and you can see 
uh, let's ask one more question and that's going to be for in which company is he working As so you can see, it has given exactly the cloud ID solutions, and uh, which is correct. And you can see it has given the AI ML engineer intern. So uh, this is how you can create uh, the project. This is how you can chat with the project on the production level. Uh, you know, usage of the API keys plays an important role in the generation of various responses in the backend. A lot of things. This was the usage of the Gemini 1.5 Pro model, which is a free model, but many a times it happens that you might be using a paid Gemini model. And for that, you will be required a basic knowledge of the usage of the Gemini API key or whatever uh, the API key that you use. So thanks for watching this video. Also do subscribe to my channel for more technical videos of this kind. Thank you and have a nice day.